Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track custom MailChimp form submissions in Google Analytics. Now, if you're using the standard MailChimp uh, form, you know, you're just taking their HTML form from their site and embedding it into your site, then this article is going to show you exactly what you need to do to track form submissions of that form. But if you're using some kind of plugin or, or third party uh, tool that's embedding a custom MailChimp form in your site, then this approach isn't necessarily going to work for you. And that's a challenge I actually recently had on my site, uh, Project BI. So as you can see, if I scroll to the bottom of this of my most recent post, you'll see over here an email submission form. And this is actually a MailChimp form. But if I jump into my WordPress backend and I scroll to the bottom, you'll notice that this is actually a custom block um, that you know I, I added to my WordPress. This is like an advanced uh, block uh, built into the, the post builder. Um, and as you can notice over here, I can't really get my I can't get my hands in the HTML code. There's some advanced functionalities I can add an ID, etc. But um, this is like a non-standard implementation of a form, and I really like these uh, blocks. So I didn't want to have to switch this out and use the more standard uh, HTML um, with a uh, Mailchimp form. So what did I do? So in the end, the way to do this is using Google Tag Manager. Um, and the first step is once you've implemented the form in your site is you want to actually inspect the HTML of the form and look for the, the form tag, right? This is the main tag you want to focus on. And you'll notice over here we have a class, okay? So this is a CSS class. There's no ID in this form, but we can differentiate this, this form um, by the CSS class. So that's the actual solution to this challenge is we're going to leverage um, this class, uh, the CSS class in the, H2, in the form tag so that when there's a submission, Google Tag Manager can use that as the trigger and then we're going to send an event to Google Analytics. So if I jump into Google Tag Manager, you'll see over here I have a tag called MailChimp Form Submit, which I've created. If I click on it and we look over here, we've got a tag type is Google Analytics. So this is going to send our event, right? We have an event uh, tracked type event category, action and label, you know, the standard Google Analytics event. But if we come down over here, we have a custom trigger that I've basically built. So if we go into that, we can see we're talking about the trigger type is form submission, right? But I've purposefully selected here form classes, contains, I could guess makes this equal to, but uh, contains is, is all right as well in this case. And then I've gone ahead and taken that class and I've added it over here. Now, when you um, select the, the actual uh, condition over here, you won't actually see form classes in the standard list. But if you go ahead and click on choose built in variables, you're going to get a long list and you can go ahead and pick this. Now, I'm purposely showing you how this can be done for MailChimp, but this approach can be used for, for any uh, custom um, form that you want to track. So we now have our trigger. So the tag manager is going to look for a form submission where the class, where there's a CSS class contains this value, and that's going to trigger the event which will submit, um, it will submit an event to Google Analytics. And over here, you can see the details. I just put my category as MailChimp, form submit is my action. This way, no matter what form I'm using, I'm always gonna have the same action. I can kind of group by category or the action and label as well in this case, join newsletter. That's the, the call to action um, for my, uh, you know, for entering your email. And that's it. So if we now go to our site, let's see if this will work. 
and we're just gonna go ahead and add this email and just do a test subscribe okay if we go into Google Analytics real time give it a sec we hope to see some actions of the uh, let me just refresh internet's running a bit slow at the moment Okay, there we go. We see it. Um, click on events and here we can see the form submitted. The reason this wasn't showing as regular is because I'm actually logged in. So it's not showing me the, uh, it's blocking me um, from the real time analytics because I'm logged in as an admin. That's a way to kind of get rid of the noise. But as you can see, we've got our event came through, form submitted with the category. So that's it. I hope you found this useful. If you have any specific questions about this setup um, around Google Tag Manager and you know MailChimp forms in particular, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.